Good morning, Mary Lou, Ange, <clears throat> Sister Kimberly, God bless you. Good morning, Infinity J, Chris P, Les Selman, good morning to you. Welcome to morning prayer. Hallelujah. Mary Lou, I pray that the family is well, the ministry is well. Ebony. Good morning, sis. Patty 500. Good morning, Mildred, Richard, Donna. God bless you. Welcome to our morning prayer. So every morning, Monday through Friday, we assemble 6 a.m. Central Time, and we pray together with one another and for one another. Our prayers have been going on probably since about March when the Lord has put it on my heart, my wife's heart, to just pray. So we welcome you for the opportunity to pray for God's people. We give you the opportunity to pray in this prayer circle for our world. The last week and a half, we're now two weeks, God has put it on my heart for us to pray the first 30 minutes of our prayer time for the world. So much going on. If you're watching the news, you don't know what to believe, what's true, what's fake. You hear different things on TikTok. God has given us a special word. We're no special than anybody else because I believe that this word that he's given us, he's given all the Christians around the world. And here's what he's been telling us. Do not pray for just one group. Pray for everybody. He said that both sides do not know him. So pray for the salvation of all people and then he told us this he's calling up the troops he's calling up the army of God he's calling up saints in a time like this to speak up to, to be the, the hands and feet of Yahshua to put his word out there to the, all the world through internet through friends and family through conversations and chats and he asked us to pray. If my people who are called by my name would just humble themselves and pray, not get caught up in the narratives, pray, not show which flag you represent, pray. If my people who are called by my name would pray. The Lord took us to the scripture yesterday. And for those who were on here, the homework assignment was Galatians, the entire book of Galatians. And Paul talked about how we are the chosen. I'm going to read a little bit of scripture to you this morning as we go into morning prayer. If you want to follow along or read later, Romans chapter 11. And I'm just going to jump around because I don't want to read all of it to you. Romans chapter 11 has, has been, let me turn this down just slightly. I got to have my background music. Has then God rejected and deserted his people, the Jews. I want to lay hold to the fact that there is a difference between people and land, people and flags. Stay with me here. Paul says, no, he hadn't forgot about them. He said, do, do you remember how God replied when Elijah went to the altar? And he goes on to say in this scripture that it's, it's the same today as it was back then. God is speaking to his people through different prophets, through people like you and I. And if they choose to reject, they choose to reject. Therefore, he goes on to say, he has now made salvation possible for the Gentiles, you and me. He goes on to say, this is Romans chapter 11, the prophet of God who was called to go to all flags, all countries, all people, all languages. He says, as you know, God has appointed me special messenger to the Gentiles and I lay great stress to remind the Jews about this as often as I can. Paul was anti-Semitic. He was an actual Jew himself. He goes on to say, but some of these branches from Abraham's tree, some of the Jews, they've been broken off. And you Gentiles who are branches from wild olive gra uh, grabs, you're now part of to receive this blessing from God and you are now the promise that Abraham and his children were talked about I won't read all of Romans to you I want you to study to show yourself approved know the scripture 
I would even go so, so far to say, don't even believe what I say. Don't believe what preachers say. Study for yourself what the Bible says and then listen to the spirit. If you've been with me for, for any amount of time, uh, the Lord has been sharing with us in our spirit man that everybody deserves salvation. We're not praying for Israel. We're praying for the people in Israel. We're not praying for Hamas or Palestine. We're pray, praying for the people in Hamas and Palestine. And the amazing fact, as we get ready to go into prayer, uh, this is good. Read, read Romans chapter 11. The amazing fact in all of this is that they all believe, both sides, all sides, that there was a Messiah. There is a Messiah. They're waiting on a Messiah. And our prayers that the spirit of the living God in this dispensation and in this time would show them that Messiah has come. I'm praying that they would go beyond their, their Quran or their Torah and, and look for something else that the Holy Spirit would guide them to the New Testament and that they would begin reading and understanding and that the Spirit of God falls on them like Pentecost. That the Spirit of God falls on them like you and I. So for the first 10 minutes, we're interceding. I'm asking you to intercede as I pray. I'm going to ask that you hold your prayer requests, for personal requests, until we get to the end so it doesn't hog up the chat. I don't like when the chat is going a million miles an hour. My wife is the moderator, so if it's too much, she'll mute you. We want to keep it respectful. And here's what you should be doing. You should be praying. I will address C. Maline. We pray for all people. I'm not praying for any group. I'm not praying that any group prospers. I'm praying that God's salvation falls on murderers. God's salvation falls on rapists. God's salvation falls on on terrorists God's salvation falls on liars God's salvation falls on adulterers God's salvation is for all who are wicked that none should perish he said I'm not tearing because I'm slow I'm not slacking keeping my promise to return but I love people so much that I'm every day we wake up is a blessing it's a new day it's a new opportunity for you and I to share the gospel that's what we do this is not for everybody. The road is narrow on this. The road is narrow on this. Even the elect might be deceived because it's about people. He prayed as he left the earth, Lord, may they be one as we were one. He did not say, Lord, let Israel conquer. Lord, no, he said, let they be one. Who are they? What Paul talked about, all of us, all of us. So Father, we come to you this morning like we only know how giving you the honor, giving you the praise, giving you the respect, giving you the appreciation. You're worthy of all of it. You get all the glory. You get all the honor. You get all the praise. We come into your courts this morning, into your presence, being great, very, very thankful and grateful that you woke us up for a purpose. It's not by accident that we're here. So we, we wake up this morning understanding that you must still have something in store for us. We give you the first fruits of our day. It's not about the 10%. It's not about how much I give to a church or organization. It's about how much I give my heart to your purpose. And Lord, we dedicate this time to you, asking you to have your way, do what you need to do on the earth. Lord, I, I pray, and we've been praying for three kind of sections to keep it simple in our heads. Lord, we pray that the spirit of the Lord would fall on all people in the Hamas, in the IDF, in Israel, in Palestine, in Gaza, in Yemen, in Jordan, in Egypt, in Saudi, all that region, Lord, we're asking that your spirit, come on, saints, pray with me. I believe this in my spirit. I can see this happening. The spirit of the, of the living God would just hover over the region. And those that he's elected, those that have a heart to look for something different, those who are hungry and thirsty for righteousness there are some good people out there who truly believe lord that righteousness is available they just don't know where it's at and they've stopped we're asking this morning come on continue to pray with me come on terry with me we are asking god if you would please 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 open up their hearts to see you lord lord do not blind them 
to the fact that Messiah has come. Do not blind them to this opportunity to know Yahshua. Oh, we pray right now for every mother, every father, every uncle, every grandma who's hurting. They lost loved ones for years. It's just not this last week or two, Lord. They've been losing loved ones for years on both sides. And we're asking, Lord, that that hurt be turned into a passion, a passion to find you. Come on. Come on. That's the prayer. We're praying that the spirit of God, come on, say it with me. Spirit of the living God, fall on the region, fall on the people of Israel, on the people of Gaza, on the people in Hamas. Lord, fall on the people in idea. Lord, may their hearts say, what am I doing? This isn't right. Spirit of the living God is the only person that can do this because our words won't do it. Our rhetoric won't do it. The narratives out there won't do it. The talking heads won't change anything. Only by my spirit. Only by my spirit. Come on, spirit of God, have mercy. We are asking. You said we can ask you anything. You said we can look at a mountain and tell a mountain to move. We can look at a fig tree and tell it to shrivel up. Holy Spirit of God. Ruish Hakadesh is his Hebrew name. Ruish Hakadesh, the comforter, the paraclete. Come on, move for us. Move, move, move. That mom who's who's hurting because she has nowhere to live because they bombed everything. Lord, spirit of the living God, overcome her. Overcome her frustration, her bitterness, her anger. And we pray for the spirit, the same spirit to move here in the U.S. because sides are being pulled and people are picking sides and, and, and their demonstrations. Lord, we pray for all people, all, all the Palestinians in the U.S., all the Israelis in the U.S., everyone who is being conflicted with the conflict. They're conflicted with what, what to do, what should I listen to, who's right, who's wrong. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Spirit of the living God, move on us, sweep through the land, Sweet Lord, may we be vessels to be able to be, be your mouthpiece. Yeah, may we be the hands and feet of you. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Come on, that's the prayer. David prayed that prayer. Lord, have mercy. Lord, if your mercy would just please, please, please fall on the people in the name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Revelation knowledge. Revelation knowledge. Revelation knowledge. Yeah, this is what we prayed this week. The Lord gave it to us. The Lord, if you would please visit them in dreams and in visions. Yeah, yeah, that, that soldier on either side who went to sleep tonight, who's going to go to sleep tonight, spirit of the living God, visit him like you visited Paul. Lord, give him revelation knowledge like you visited Paul. Lord, may he in his walk on the road in the Middle East have a revelation that Christ was for real. I had dream of Messiah. Lord, I believe that by faith that you can do that. I know you're doing it. I know you're shaking people. Lord, shake the people to find you. Because there will be no peace without Yahshua. There will be no peace treaty without Yahshua. There's no hope to a resolution without Yahshua. Oh, if my people would be called, who are called by my name, were all your people. Spirit of the living God all fresh this is new to them so this will be fresh they've never experienced this feeling of hope and love and mercy and grace fall fresh and we've been praying for all the the leaders come on transition with me now we're going to pray for all the leaders all the leaders in hamas all the leaders in the idf all the leaders in palestine and egypt and jordan and lebanon all the leaders in syria and iraq and yemen Saudi, the leaders in Ukraine, in Russia, China, North Korea, USA. Father, we believe right now by faith, because this is not for everybody. The road is narrow here. I have faith and believe that you can save anybody. I have faith to believe, Lord, that your power is not limited to just one group of people. I believe by faith, Holy Spirit, that you can go speak to the leader of Hamas. His name is Yaha Senwa. We lift him up to you. We lift up Yaha Senwa up to you right now, Lord, that you would touch his heart. You give him revelation, knowledge of who he is, who you are, and shake him. Yeah, Spirit of the Living God, we pray for the president of Palestine, 
Mahmoud Abbas, we lift him up to you. We lift him up to you, Lord. We are interceding for our leaders. We ask that you do what you did to Nebuchadnezzar. We ask that you do what you did to Pilate who said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That is the living God. Lord, we pray for the president of Egypt, Abdad Fatah El Sassi. I may be pronouncing names wrong, but the Lord knows my heart. Lord, we lift them up to you that they would find you in a time like this, that they would have attendance or a revelation knowledge or YouTube or whoever their, their, their stream of information is. I'm praying and believing by faith that you can save leaders. Lord, I'm believing by faith that a leader in the world would, would pronounce that Yahshua, Christ visited them and that they had a revelation of a Moses or an Elijah. Yeah, in the end times coming and speaking. Lord, I'm praying for the, the president of Jordan Abdullah Al Hussein, we ask that your spirit would visit him, minister to him, take the scales off their eyes, Lord, soften their heart. We pray for the president or the people of Lebanon. They don't have a leader right now. We're asking that you would move with the different groups, the different res res uh, revolutions, and move on behalf of your spirit. God, I know you see this. That's the amazing thing, that you're not surprised by any of this. These are your people. You watch them every day like you watch us every day. And so we're asking, we're asking, we're trying to join with your movement that everyone would be one and that you would save their souls. The president of Syria, Bashar al-Assad, Lord, we lift him up to you right now. We lift him up to you and ask that you would move on his heart. Lord, remove the scales. Lord, do not let them be reprobate. Lord, do not blind them if you could with your mercy and your grace, Lord. Show them who you are. Show them who you are. Spirit of God, hover, move, hover, move, hover, move. The president of Iraq, the president of Yemen, Rashad al-Almani, we pray for him. The president of king of, of Saudi, Mohammed Salman al-Saud, Lord, we lift him up to you. We lift them up to you, believing by faith that you can move. This is heavy. Come on. I need you with me right here. Every principality of darkness in that region. All the princes. Yeah, yeah. Don't be afraid to pray this prayer because no weapon formed against us can prosper. So we're getting ready to attack. Come on. Calling up the troops right now. I'm calling up the troops right now. This is spiritual warfare. Ha. Mm. If you're not ready for it, I would ask that uh, you bow out because this is this is serious. This is nothing to play with. Repeat with me. Every evil spirit assigned in the Middle East, every evil prince assigned over Hamas, every evil prince assigned over Palestine, every evil prince and fallen angel assigned over Egypt and Jordan, every evil spirit. Yeah, I've got your attention. I've gotten your attention because what I bind on earth is bound in heaven and I'm not limited to geographics. I'm not limited to, to borders and mm, we pray for our world. Every evil demon and fallen angel principality of darkness in high places in Syria and Iraq and Yemen and Saudi, Ukraine, Russia, China, North Korea, USA. Yeah. You evil dark princesses hovering our earth, distracting. You're a distractive spirit. You guys are a humiliating, ignorant, false entity of a spirit, distracting people and manipulating people. And we bind your power. We stand against it this morning. Come on. Come on. I'm not playing. This is serious. In the name of Yahshua, we got 55 people saying we bind you in the name of Jesus. We cast down your power. We have more authority and rank over you. Do you know who we are? We are children of the Most High God. And we tell you to stop. Ah, Lord, stop. Stop. Stop with the foolishness. Stop with the arguing and the fighting and the conflicts and the war. Yeah, this war in heaven. Oh, if we could see if the Lord opened up our spiritual eye to see the angels and the demons fighting one another. Lord, we come on behalf of, we come interceding. We come casting down imaginations, everything that exalts itself against the power of God. Everything. You spirit of war, you spirit of conflict, you spirit of bitterness, you spirit of land grab, you spirit of, of retaliation and rebellion, you spirit of wickedness. We come against you. Yeah. I'm not afraid. 
I'm not afraid because I have the Lord on my side and I'm on this I'm on the right side of this war oh I'm on the right side of this war for my people for my people my people mm. I bind you I bind you conflict I bind you segregation I, I, I come against you occupiers colonists colonizers I bind you liars manipulators false news fake news I buy I bind this spirit of separation that tries to keep us apart and we pray for all people all all Lord if my people if my people come on come on Terry with me for about eight more minutes it's worth it Lord, I believe I'll see change in today's world. I believe that I'll get a headline that somebody has stopped, somebody has conceded, somebody has, has thought because of all the prayers. We're not the only ones praying. Yeah, there's prayer groups all around the world right now. The Lord has lifted us up for a time like this, and we pray for the other prayer groups. We pray for other pastors and other leaders, Lord, who are up this morning, up late at night praying. We pray collectively for one another that we have the strength and the mind and the wisdom to hear what the Spirit is saying. We believe by faith, Lord, that you are moving in the earth. You are moving in the earth. If my, You said it. If my people would just humble themselves, Lord, we are praying, we're praying, we're praying. It's not about us. I don't want any hearts or lights of glory. We want you to get all the glory. We, we want when these countries decide to, to stop, we're going to give you a big old shout. We're going to give you a big old praise. So much fear mongering going on. I bind a spirit of fear mongering, a spirit of distraction and deception with wars and rumors of wars and World War III and rumors of World War III. Devil, you're a liar. We're not going to fall for, the, for that. You told us not to worry that these things must happen for the end to come and then you said the gospel will be preached to all the world Lord we're praying for all the world right now and we close today's prayer we've been doing this all week go back and watch the YouTubes all of these prayers are uploaded on YouTube we pray for the Christians all of the Christians that God has planted in the region we pray for them this morning Lord that you would give them strength we pray for all the Christians in Palestine, all the Christians in Yemen, all the, 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 the quiet, silent Christians in China and Russia and Ukraine. Lord, we pray for the Christians in Israel. We pray for Christians, Lord, all throughout Iraq and Saudi who who found Yahshua. They found Messiah. And, and, and now this is their time. Lord, I pray that they would be the Daniels of their generation. Lord, I pray, Lord, that they would be the Shadrach, the Meshachs, and the Abednegoes of their generation. Lord, I pray that they would speak up. I pray that they would be the Pauls of their generation willing to take lashes and whips and being shipwrecked and, and, and put in prison for the gospel. We're not there. So we pray for them. We lift them up. As Paul would say, pray for me as I am in chains. Lord, we pray for our brothers and sisters who are in situations where they may not be able to speak the gospel without persecution. They cannot speak the gospel without threat of being put in jail or their heads. I don't want to be kicked off of TikTok. Lord, we pray for them. We pray for them. Lord, give them strength. Give them boldness. Give them courage. Lord, strengthen what they already have. Lord, give them the words to speak to their the, the Palestinian brothers and sisters, Lord, give the Israeli Christians words to speak to their, their Jewish counterparts. Lord, give them an utterance that will attract people to the gospel. You're the only way. May they be able to articulate that you're the only way. Lord, you are the, the truth. Lord, may they be able to, to manifest in the scripture how you are the truth. Lord, you are life. Lord, we pray for all the Christians over there. May they be the hands and the feet of Yahshua, showing that you are life. Lord, we pray for the UN and all the leaders in the UN. We pray for NATO and all the leaders in NATO. We pray for the EU and all the leaders within the EU and, and the WTO and all IGOs, all international organizations. We pray for the people, the Christians. There's Christians inside of the UN. There's Christians inside of the EU. There's Christians inside of NATO. Lord, this is their time. May they be the Esters. May they be the Esters 
Oh, I speak and declare an extra spirit on all the Christians in these organizations that it's time. It's time. Oh, Lord, may they be shaken in their spirit. May they feel your anointing. May they understand it's time to speak up. And for you, yeah, for you watching, may you be the Esther at your job, the Esther in your home, the Esther in your neighborhood, your, the Esther that, 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 that God has appointed in such a time as this to say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's, there's something greater at, at work here. Y-H-W-H, Y-H-V-H, whichever version you choose to read, he is Jehovah, or Yahweh, or Yodavah. He has a name. He said, I am the I am. And he gave us the spelling of his name. Regardless of how we pronounce it, he knows who he is. That's who we're pointing people to. And he had a son. The two of them created everything. And his son gave up all of heaven to save us. That's our prayer for these Christians and these organizations. That they would spread the gospel and speak up. Speak up, Lord, give them the strength, give them the boldness, give them the courage. Come on, pray that with me. Give them the strength, give them the boldness, and give them the courage. Lord, shake them. Shake all of us. Shake us out of our comfort Out of our end. Lord, we are praying that everybody, everybody, finds your love. Find your love. Yeah, yeah, that's this prayer. And I believe by faith that people are watching. I believe by faith that people's hearts are turning. I believe by faith that the Spirit of God lets them know that this is different. This is different than anything else that I've saw. There's a love. There's a compassion here. There's a, 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 a peace for humanity. That's all we want. That's all we want. We don't pick sides. We're not on anybody's side. I love everybody. God loves everybody. He, he has not one time picked one group out. And I thank God. Again, go back. Romans chapter 11. The entire book of Galatians, Romans chapter 11, the entire book of Galatians, Revelation chapter 20, 21, 22. And I looked up in Revelation chapter 7 and I saw a sea bigger than anything I've ever seen in my life. More people than my eye could count from all nations, all tongues, all tribes, all nations, all tongues all tribes all nations all tongues all tribes all nations lord we pray for all nations tongues and tribes that they find you hallelujah hallelujah lord i, I want to thank you i want to thank you for giving us this platform i want to thank you for the opportunity to even do this this is not even legal in some countries. This is not even, this is frowned upon. And I'm grateful. I'm very grateful that you called us. Listen, I want to thank you guys. I want to thank you for praying with us. You need to continue to pray. And, and then just a, again, a word of knowledge, a word of wisdom for you that are new. Don't pick sides. That was the word God gave us last week because he's not picking sides. Don't pick a flag. Because God's not picking a flag. Trust me. Trust me. I'm not a prophet. I'm a man of God. You're a woman of God. You can hear what the Spirit is telling you. He's telling you pray for people. You know it. You know it deep down inside. All right. We'll spend the last 20 minutes now praying for one another. This is what we do. This is intercession. The Spirit of the, of the living God is here. I feel Him. I feel Him. I feel him in my soul. I feel him in my spirit. I feel him all over me. There's gifts in this prayer room. We have people with the gifts of healing. We have people with the gifts of faith, gifts of miracle. People with the gifts of wisdom and knowledge. Spiritual wisdom and knowledge. They're here. If you have a prayer request, and I'll be honest with you, I, I did not see any request prior to right now. If you put a prayer request in the chat, I didn't see it and I'm not it's too much to go back and scroll so at this time put your prayer request in the chat come to the altar come to the altar the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous has a lot of power confess your faults one to another so you can be healed nothing's impossible for God if you would just believe you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you this is where your strength comes from 
prayer, seeking the Lord's face, turning from our wicked ways. First prayer request, and I'm gonna move pretty quick this morning. Understand that God is not slow in his promises. All of his promises are yes and amen. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Whew, I feel his peace. I feel his power. I hope you feel it too. God is working behind the scenes for you. Oh, that was good. I feel his peace. I feel his power. He's working on the inside, on behind the scenes for you. All right. Here we go. Let me go back just slightly. Ah. All right. Loretta Jones, screenshot. And I put all of these prayers in a journal. I screenshot them. I save them. These prayers can be heard on YouTube. I upload them for later. So you can go back and listen. Play them to other people. Sister Loretta Jones, my adopted daughter lost her husband. Please pray for her. That's tough. That's tough. I'm so sorry to hear that. And I believe by faith, I believe by faith that God will give you the strength, give your daughter the strength, Lord. We pray over her right now. We pray, Lord, that your spirit of compassion and empathy, that your spirit of mercy and grace would just comfort her, comfort the entire family. Lord, everything happens for a reason. Lord, give her understanding of what that reason is in your time. It's in the name of Yahshua. We pray for her and the family, the kids, everybody involved, Lord. Be glorified. Be glorified in this situation. Leah Divine, can you please pray I receive a job offer today? Things are beyond hard and I have kids trying to survive. Lord, I'm praying for sisters. Come on. I need everybody believing by faith with me. We're going to stretch our faith that if it's the Lord's will, Leah, listen to how I say this. I'm not one of them false prophets or preachers just declaring any and everything. I want to be sensitive to what the Lord is doing in your life. I went without a job for 10 months and prayed every day for a job. Applied every day for a job. Master's degree with a job. Experience with a job. Had third interviews with a job. And I said, Lord, close every door I'm not supposed to go through. Lord, if it's not your will for me to be there, work with that group of people, be called to help that group, close the door. Only send me. Only give me favor. This is my prayer for you, Leah. Only give her favor with the job she's supposed to be at. Lord, give her favor and success. doors but closed doors yeah I trust you in her life come on we all trust God is doing something in your life and Lord I know you make away with her bills her finances Lord I know that you're going to make sure that they eat you never ever seen seed begging for bread in the name of Jesus Lord anoint her interview today anoint the, the father Be all temporary. I'm not sure what's going on with my internet. And we have this we have disturbed principalities. We we have literally in the spirit realm because our words are knowledge, our words have power. We have disturbed the spirit realm. So I'm not surprised that all of a sudden. Jamie said, can you pray for my son, Travis? I need the Lord to change him before it's too late. My heart hurts. Lord, for all of our sons and daughters. For all of our sons and daughters who are lost, I, I, I feel you, Jamie. I'm, I'm interceding with you and for you. For all of our sons and daughters, Lord, who are lost. Come on, pray this. Chrissy, you out there. We're praying for Marcus. For all of our sons and daughters who are bitter, hurt, lost in wickedness. And addictions, lost to their own pride, lost to the lies and the manipulation and the distractions of this world. Lord, we are praying for them right now, asking that you don't give up on them. Don't turn them to reprobate minds, Lord. Don't blind them to your goodness and your love. If you would please send somebody 
This is where he prays and says we should be praying for laborers because sometimes our words no longer work. Sometimes what we try to tell them has no power anymore. They're tired of hearing it. So the Lord has to send someone that they respect. The Lord send someone that they'll listen to. The Lord, someone that they are attracted to. Lord, we pray for young women who have the gospel of Jesus Christ in their souls that they would put it online because of, honestly, some young men will stop when they see a young woman lord we pray right now in the name of jesus that whoever it is that you're rising up and it's the opposite perhaps for some young women that in the name of yahshua that the power of god flows through the the tiktoks and the youtubes the instagrams the twitters that the that the power of god huh would be manifested lord change travis's heart change his mind change marcus's heart marcus's mind Lord, I know you have the power to shake them. Oh, that's what I'm going to title this one today. Lord, shake us. Shake our world. Shake the people. Shake shake people groups. Shake us to righteousness. Lord, get us out of our comfort zone. Shake us. Shake us. Shake Travis this morning to say, what am I doing? I need to go back to what mama taught me. What, what, Lord, I pray for Marcus this morning that he, he turns his heart, that you soften it. It just needs to be softened. Lord, we pray for every son and daughter that's lost to addiction. I bind the spirit of dependency. I come against spirits of being hooked on drugs and alcohol, street drugs, prescription drugs, marijuana. I don't care what the, the states say, Lord, they should not be hooked on it. I'm not going to get into the debate if it's right or wrong. No one should be hooked on anything. But we come against people who are hooked on sugar and hooked on social media, can't put it down. We pray for our sons and our daughters, Lord. This distraction that the devil has given them, that, that life isn't that serious. Lord, may they have a, an aha moment that life is short. And my time here on earth should be spent serving the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. That's my prayer for your sons and daughters. Yeah salvation will come they will be restored keep holding on don't give up on your kids god didn't give up on them you keep praying you keep believing you keep being the hands and the feet hear me when i say this jamie and i had this conversation you just keep loving on them you keep being compassionate i was a prodigal son i left home i was upset i was frustrated i was depressed and didn't know what depression was and I had people praying for me. I had a mama praying for me. I had a dad praying for me. Didn't even know it. They were praying every day, going to the church, praying at, at night. And something pulled me back. Yeah, keep praying. And when I came back, they were loving. They were kind. They weren't mean. They didn't say, get your stuff and leave. They didn't say, you got to find a job. They didn't do any of that. They loved me. What do you need? They prodigal son me, hugged me met me put their arms around me i'm praying it over you moms and dads that you don't have a bitter spirit that you don't allow the enemy to to, to put these walls up that you love them that's the only thing that's gonna if, if if we would just love in our world everything would be solved if we would truly just have a compassion for people and just bring down our walls bring down our defenses Quit being so offended by everything. Put your feelings in your pocket and just love people. As I'm thinking through it, Sister Shalay may or may not be on here this morning. Her son is having surgery this morning. His name is Matthew. He cannot hear. And so they're going to do surgery to help him in his hearing. So Lord, I lift up little Matthew this morning. We believe by faith, Lord, that you are going to to repair damaged cells that you have the ability to restructure his eardrums we pray over the doctors and the surgeons and the nurses and the anesthesiologists that everything goes according to your will heal him lord i don't care how you heal you you're the healer medicine doctors supernatural herbs however you choose to heal lord heal little matthew this morning what a beautiful name heal him in the name of yahshua Hallelujah. All right, I'm going to keep moving here. I'm, I got 20 minutes left. I'm going to try to get to all of these. Oh, I feel his spirit. I feel his peace. I feel his spirit. I feel his peace. 
Verda May, pray for me and my kids. Lord, I pray right now in the name of Yahshua. I lift Bashar up to you. I lift Bashar up to you right now, Lord, that you give him peace in his spirit. Lord, that you'd settle all the anxiety in his heart. Lord, I pray for her son, Bashar, this morning, Lord, that you would just settle his mind. Lord, may he, he see that there's something greater than what he's been taught. Yeah, Lord, I pray for friends, friends that knows bandmates, that someone, somebody, Lord, you already picked this person out. You've already ordained it from the foundations of the earth to befriend him, to love on him, to show him that Yahshua, the Messiah, is the way. I pray for her daughters and I pray for her peace. I pray for your finances, Verda May, and I believe by faith that everything is going to be all right. Verda, I've said this before and I'll say it again, sis. You are somewhere in the future and you look so much better than you look right now. Hallelujah. Crystal Barnes said, will you pray for my husband and open up communication and healing? Crystal Barnes, hold with me. I'm going to pray for you and Sam and everybody here, but thank you every morning. Let me tell you guys something real quick about Sister Crystal and Sister Sam. You're talking about women of resilience, women of faith. They've been on here probably for the last three months, maybe four. And every day they post the same prayer. Pray for my husband. They are praying without ceasing. They are that widow woman who went to the king and said, give me justice, give me justice, give me justice. And God said if an evil king would get weary in, in a, a woman coming every day how much more do you think my love for you I hear you Lord we pray that you continue to strengthen that brother their, their husbands and that you strengthen them in their faith Robin L please pray for me woke up not feeling hopeful about God healing me from cancer Robin I'm going to add you to the cancer list I believe by faith Robin that you and everybody else that God has appointed in this season will be healed. Father, if you would have some mercy, have some grace. Lord, heal this sister completely from all disease, all cancer, all spirits of infirmity and sickness. Lord, we pray over every cancer cell in her body that they would be dismissed, that they would be canceled and die. They would shrink and die. You listen to me, you cancer cells. I have authority over you. Yeah, we have the gift of healing, the gift of faith. And the name of Yahshua and the gift of miracle is here. Strengthen her faith right now to believe it's not over. Lord, strengthen her faith right now. She sits through chemos and radiations, Lord, that it's not over. It's not over till you say it's over. It's not over just be, be, until till you say it's over. I don't care what the, the doctors say. I don't know what the prognosis is, the diagnosis. I speak the power of God to flow through your lymphatic system, lymph lymphatic system, your nervous system, your immune system, your skeletal system, the healing power, the healing power to release in your body in the name of Yahshua. It will not spread. It will not go to other organs. And I speak to every organ in your body, Robin. I don't know if you're on here or not. Wherever you are, this, this prayer is, is penetrating your soul. Come on, saints, pray with me, believe with me. Come on, Ebony, China, you faithful ones who are here every morning. Mary Lou, pray with me. In the name of Yahshua, my wife is praying for you. Robin, strength, hope, faith, goodness, righteousness, the love of God, the healing power of God flow through your body. Yeah, that's what we're believing. We literally believe that the Holy Spirit is telling your lymphatic system to come into alignment with the, the word of God that your immune system is coming into alignment with the word of God cancer cells will come into alignment with the word of God that says by the stripes of Christ I'm healed emotionally mentally physically I'm healed through my body soul and spirit that's what that is emotion body soul spirit we believe by faith that the Holy Spirit right now is telling cancer no stop stop I come against the spirit of sadness and depression and frustration. I come against the spirit of loneliness and, and haste that says, maybe it won't happen. Devil, you are a liar. You, you've been a liar from the beginning. Big old fat lie. And we cast you down. We cast down all your lies. 
Lord, we pray for Sister Sabrina, Sister Stephanie, Sister Stacy, RJ's dad, and now Sister Robin. Cancer, you don't win. For we're more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. Yeah. We can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Yeah. Nothing's impossible for God. Nothing. Nothing. Robin, send me a private message or follow me so I can follow up with you. I'd be more than happy, my wife and I, to pray with you. Sister Steph, I'm going to put your husband on that list that I have for Sam and Crystal. I'm going to come to all husbands here at the end. Sister Lou, you're on my list too. Thank you for sharing. God's healing you. Sister Lou, or brother Lou, sister Lou, sister Lou, finishing up chemo this week. Lord, thank you. Lord, stop that bleeding in her nose. Come on, saints. I'm just now seeing this. I know you've been praying. Right now, bleeding nostrils, blood vessels. Stop. Lord, Lord, send your spirit to just stop the bleeding. Stop the bleeding. Stop. I speak to you. Stop. In the name of Yeshua. Huh. Michael Tucker, I pray my sins are forgiven. I pray for everyone throughout the world. The violence ends in the name of Yahshua. Michael, watch the first 30 minutes of today's prayer to be on YouTube. Watch the first 30 minutes of any of this week's prayers on YouTube. That's been our prayer. Hallelujah. And the Lord will forgive you of your sins if you say, Lord, forgive me. It's that simple. Lord, I, I'm, I'm serious. I'm ready to truly surrender to you and give you everything. I'm yours. I confess that you are Savior. And I repent of my sins. We repent of sins and confess of that he's Savior. I repent. I turn. I'm done. Send me something, Michael Tucker. I'll be more than happy to send you some private resources and some prayers. Kristen Hall. Find out if I get my home today. Kristen, the Lord's will be done. If that's the Lord's will for your life, for you to have that house, so shall it be. Amen and hallelujah. May the Lord bless you, grant you favor and success with the realtors, the, the, those who are closing on the house, those pending, the, the insurance company and everybody in between. May God's, be, God's will be done in your life. Hallelujah. All right. Yeah, Michael Tucker, screenshot. Please follow me. Please follow me, brother. Lord, heal, heal him completely. Sam Marie said, I need a job as well. I'm slow to the chats. I'm moving pretty fast. Lord, everybody, everybody that's searching for a job, everybody's waiting on the right job, everyone waiting on that promotion, everyone's waiting on the opportunity. Lord, have your way. That's the prayer. Lord, you got to pray that with me. I'm going to come in agreement with you. Lord, have your way in my life. Open up the right door. Close all the doors I'm not supposed to go through. Lord, give me favor with my resume, with my application, with my cover letter, with my follow-up email. Lord, give me favor. Lord, give me favor. Give me favor with the right people. And for all of those who have jobs, Lord, bless them on their jobs. Lord, may they do well on their jobs. May they succeed. May they hit all their goals and targets. Lord, we pray for everybody that has a job. That you would give their teams and their organizations the strength through them, with them, to grow, to love one another, to be there for one another. I come against bitterness and distractions and hatefulness on jobs in the name of Yahshua. Keep moving here, we're running out of time. All right, sister, I'm at Shauna's prayer. Pray that male junior, he hurt his hand yesterday, that God heals his hand in the name of Yeshua. Lord, we pray for Melvin Jr. Pray for M Melvin Sr. Sister Shauna, Lord, that you'd heal his hand, you'd heal their home. Lord, that you would provide quick healing. I speak the gift of healing into his, his arteries, his muscles, his tissue. That the swelling would come down in the name of Yeshua. Ha <laughs> ha. Hallelujah. Thank you. All right. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. Yes. Thank you guys for praying. You guys are such an amazing prayer community. Robin L. said, I am here. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. 
God bless you. Hang in there, sis. Let me encourage you. And I'm going to encourage everybody dealing with a sickness. Real quick, give me 30 seconds, maybe 60. Everyone who's dealing with an immune deficiency, COPD, HIV. The doctor told you you have to take diabetic medicine the rest of your life. The doctor told you that you got to take high blood pressure medicine the rest of your life. Let me encourage you. Don't listen to the lies of man. Don't, Don't listen... They're giving you their best knowledge, and we appreciate doctors, we appreciate nurses, we appreciate the, the information. There's someone greater than those who are practicing medicine. He's not practicing. Let me encourage you for a moment and declare into your lives that he created you. He knows everything about you. He knows all of the hairs that are on your head. That, that means everything that's on your hair now and everything in your brush All the hair you lost when you was a kid, the hair you cut. He knows every single strand of hair that you've ever had on your head. He knows everything about you. And I will not accept the lies from the enemy that says I have to take certain medicine the rest of my life. I pray that the Lord gives all of you wisdom, knowledge, and healing through your nutrition system. Nutritious. The nutrients you put in your body. Let me say it that way. I pray that the Spirit of the Lord would give you the right appetite the right cravings. I pray that the Spirit of God would show you what foods to eat, what foods to back away from, to give you the strength to exercise. I pray that the Spirit of God, even if it's just doing this every day for 30 minutes and getting some energy in your body, I pray that the Spirit of the Lord gives you the motivation, the courage, the the, the power to do right by you, by yourself, do right by you. Do right by you. In the name of Jesus, Lord. I bind the spirit of diabetes. You won't have it the rest of your life. I come against the spirit of of HIV and spirits of high blood pressure. What else are they trying to tell you? You're going to have your whole life. COPD and you're going to have to take this and that and the other. Fibromyalgia devil. No, 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 no. I'm going to change my eating habits. I'm going to trust in the Lord. With all my heart, and I'm not going to lean to man's understanding. I'm not going to lean to the doctor's understanding. I'm not going to lead to this prescription's understanding. I'm going to put all my hope in God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Devil, you are a liar. I would not accept that defeat. In Jesus' name. All right. Sister Hackins says she wasn't feeling well, didn't sleep too well. In the name of Yeshua, I pray that you receive that prayer. Everyone with stomach aches and headaches and migraines and discomfort with cysts and and fibroids and everything in between. Devil, you are a liar. This is not who we are. This is not who we will be. This will not define who we are. In the name of Yahshua, I believe it. I believe it. Sister Braith Bael, she said, will you pray for me? I got your pseudo name here. I know it. Elderly, that's who that is. You put it in the chat if I just keep reading. Lord, bless her in this case. Give her favor and success in this case. Lord, give her favor with the court system, judges, and everybody in between. Lord, give her favor and may she come out giving you all the glory. At the end of the day, you get the credit for everything. I didn't do anything. The Lord did it all. Ha! Who did I miss? I think I got through them all. I'm at the bottom. Did I miss anybody? I felt like I may have, TikTok may have fast forwarded these requests. Yeah, my wife is right. We try to stay away from medical advice, personal advice. This is what worked for me. If you want to do any of that privately, you have every right to do it privately, but we, we, want, to, we want to keep this sensitive. This is a safe place. and It may have worked for you, We're not mad at it. Uh, We're not medical professionals. I'm not even a psychologist. I'm just a a counselor of the Lord and we try to be very careful. So out of respect. Okay. Yeah, and I'm with you. I try to stay away from doctors too. uh, But our trust is in the Lord. But it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. We're going to close today's prayer with the marriages. We're going to close today's prayers with all praying for all marriages, all relationships, 
all husbands and wives. Lord, I bring before you this morning Roberta and Henry, Damon and Trina, Sydney and her husband, Shelly C.'s daughter, Shelly and her husband, Tanya Burns and husband, Alana and her husband, Brian and Marley, Amanda and her husband, Rhonda and Aaron, Sam and her husband, Crystal and her husband, Steph and her husband. Lord, we believe by faith that you are moving in Jerry's life, that you're moving in all of these husbands' lives. We pray for Terrell and Latia, Thomas and Quita, Brian and Stacy. Uh, did I say Vanessa and Aaron already? Trina and Troy, Shauna and Melvin, Christine and Marcus, Rebecca and Warren, Jennifer and Greg, Christina and Carl, Tamia and her husband, Cheryl and John, Kimberly and husband, so many, Lord. Jamie and her husband, elderly and her husband, Alejandro and Jorge, Lisa, Haley and Austin, Shayla. There's probably more. If I left you out, Michael and Robert's life. Michael, send me a private message, please. I'd like to pray with you privately. Lord, we come praying for every marriage represented here today. That you would continue to move by your spirit. That you would continue to fill us with the goodness of who you are. Love, mercy, and grace. Father, may we have a revelation knowledge of what unconditional love looks like and feels like. I pray for every husband who is not for you, who has not turned their life to you. We pray for every husband who's turned their back on God, every husband who's been bitter and harsh toward their wives. Lord, we pray for them this morning, in this moment, believing that you are shaking them. Yeah, you're shaking them in a good way. Lord, you're getting them outside their covering. So we believe by faith that there is a turnaround, that there is a season of deliverance, a season of restoration, a season of resurrection. We believe by faith that every husband who's been mean is going to apologize at some point. They're going to say, my bad, I'm so sorry, please forgive me. Lord, we pray that you would send laborers into the lives of these husbands and in these wives who do not know you. Yeah, I think about Brother Matt right now who's constantly asking us to pray for his wife. That you would touch their hearts, Lord, that you would change their hearts, Lord, that you would soften their hearts. Soften their hearts, Lord, remove the blinds from their eyes. Lord, may they have a revelation of who you are and the love and compassion that they should have for their spouse and their families. Lord, I come against a spirit, separation, divorce, bitterness. I come against a, a, a spirit of, of anger and frustration and depression. I bind a spirit. I, I stand against a spirit of arguing and fighting all the time and gaslighting. I come against a spirit of narcissism and envy and pride. I bind a, torment, a tormenting spirit, a, a sarcastic spirit, a spirit that, that will try to pull me in to, to, to foolishness. I come against the spirit of unforgiveness, harshness, hurt. I bind a spirit of cruelty and violence. I come against a domestic violence. Get out. Go get to a safe place temporarily until I bind a spirit of emotional abuse. Get to a safe place. Lord, may they get to a safe place. I'm not telling you to divorce. I'm just telling you to get to a safe place because you deserve it. Lord, I'm praying that your spirit right now speaks and ministers. And I replace all of that evil, all those principalities of darkness, everything that I just mentioned. I take authority. And now I'm releasing into your marriage, into your lives, hope, peace, love, faith, gentleness, compassion. Lord, I pray right now over their lives, Lord, there will be a humbleness, a meekness that flows through that home. Every corner of your home, meekness, meekness, meekness. Meek and mild, meek and mild. No arguing this weekend, no fighting this weekend, no back and forth this weekend. No, no. I speak love. It's in the name of Yahshua that you feel his spirit this morning. Ha! 
Lord, I just want to stay here. I got to get to work. God bless you. Meet us back here Sunday at 7 p.m. I think my wife may have put it in the chat. We bring a fresh message from the Lord every Sunday at 7 p.m. We do Bible studies on Tuesday at 7 p.m. right here. You can find all these messages, all these prayers, all of our Bible studies. If you go up here to my profile page, hit the YouTube icon. And to take you to my YouTube page and you'll see all of the resources. May God bless you. May God keep you. Have a wonderful, amazing Friday. Hallelujah. See you later. <laughs>